I'm curious with this, you know, looking at the link to MS, um, in what ways does the risk of developing MS differ after the first episode of optic neuritis compared to patients with um, atypical features? Um, if it is atypical, for instance, if the patient has macular star, this patient has most probably neuroretinitis, which is an infection. I mean, so you need to make sure about the fundus exam and the MRI. If the MRI has more than uh, more, more than one lesion that is compatible with MS, and if the patient has oligoclonal bands that are positive, then the patient might convert to MS. And now with the new criteria uh, showing the dissemination in time and space, then you actually diagnose the patient as MS. So the reason for that is to diagnose real fast so that you can plan the treatment fast so that the patient won't lose any time. Mm -hmm. So you talked a little bit earlier about your specific patient population, seeing a lot of women and things like that. Um, what are some of the challenges that you see um, your patients face um, that, that you're treating? I mean, the females carry all the burden. I mean, to tell the truth. I mean, they look after their kids, they work, and then I don't know if they have enough voice as male voice. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, of course, there are very sensible people out there. But uh, when you look at it, the woman comes home and then prepare the dinner and then take care of the kids. And then, you know, uh, they need more space where they can be themselves. I think there is a need for more social networking. And I think more platforms where they can connect and talk about uh, their issues and their problems. So, for instance, here we had a poster where we mentioned about the caretakers and the risk for abuse, for instance. So this is all very, this is all very big issues. Uh, but at least we need to make sure about all that for this, not only for females, for all the disabled patients, I mean. Mm -hmm.